So we have a major change of scenery today. I'm actually back in my Connecticut house and I have not lived here since I was nine years old. And I slept here for the first time last night since I was nine years old. And it was definitely a weird feeling being back in here. Everything seems a lot smaller because I was a physically smaller person when I lived in this house. So yeah, it's definitely weird to be back. I'm just here for a few days with my parents. I came into Connecticut to vote today. So we're gonna go do that today. We're gonna run some errands, get some groceries. So yeah, come along, let's go vote. Q&A just so you guys can get to know me a bit better since I'm gonna be posting more on this channel and I haven't really shared a lot about my life. So I asked on my Instagram, my food Instagram specifically, which is at some good eats, and I got quite a few responses. So I'm just going to go through and answer them for you. I got a lot of questions in regards to traveling and why I travel so much. I haven't really been traveling a lot due to coronavirus, but normally I do travel frequently and my family's kind of all over the place. It's mostly because my parents actually live abroad and I've been outside the US since I was nine. So I grew up in mostly in Connecticut and then lived in London, just outside of London for like three years. So all of middle school. And then I did all of high school in Hong Kong. And then my parents lived in Hong Kong while I was at university in LA. So it's kind of like I was jumping around all over the place. And then I also ended up studying abroad my junior year of college and I was in Brussels for almost five months. So I was able to travel a lot then and traveling is one of my greatest passions in life. So I've been very, very lucky to be able to travel as much as I have. I got the question, why did your family move to Hong Kong? Was it a big adjustment living in Asia? So I live, moved to Hong Kong when I was, I think I was 12 and it was definitely a huge adjustment. I had never been to Asia before I moved to Hong Kong. I, I honestly couldn't have told you where Hong Kong was, in a, was on a map when I moved there. And it was definitely a bit of a culture shock. Hong Kong used to be a British colony, so a lot of things are in English and everyone speaks English. So that made it the transition a lot easier, but definitely culturally it was a big shift, but obviously you like get to know it and learn to love it and now Hong Kong is one of my favorite cities ever. All my best friends are from Hong Kong. I just love it there so much and I'm so grateful to have been there. My parents lived there for eight years. So I was, I went there frequently for holidays and stuff like that. So I really consider Hong Kong my, my home and I love it so much. <laughs> so I also got the question, what are you doing in New York City right now before starting work? So. If you guys don't know, my family actually just moved from Hong Kong back to the US. They were thinking they were gonna move to London, but London just went to another lockdown and coronavirus cases were rising a lot there. So they decided just to come back to the US for a bit while we figure out what our, what well, they figure out what their plan is. My plan is I'm gonna be working in New York City. I I'm gonna be working as a consultant at one of the big four firms. I was supposed to start in August in New York and it got pushed back till, Janu till January because of coronavirus. So I've just kind of been waiting it out with my parents until I start in January. I've been doing a bit of modeling and uh, just working on myself a lot during this time, reading a lot of books, dealing with my parents' move. I've been helping them unpack and try to figure out where they're gonna end up. Also been doing a lot of apartment hunting in New York and I'll have more video about that soon. So stay tuned. Dream place to live. I honestly don't have one place that I would say is my like major dream. I really wanna live in Paris in the future and 
I know I want to be in New York for a lot of my 20s. I want to live in Tokyo for a little bit. The list is endless. And then favorite hotel I've been to. Whew. Honestly, most recently I went to this hotel in southern Italy in Puglia called Borgo Ignazia and that was probably the nicest hotel I've ever been to. It was unbelievable. I'll insert some photos here. But otherwise, I went on a trip when I was 12 to South Africa and we stayed in this place called Singita and it was... I still I remember it perfectly even though I was so so much younger because it was unbelievably beautiful like you'd wake up and you're in the midst of a safari and you go see tigers and if you ever have the chance to go to South Africa definitely go I really want to go back because going on safari is a crazy experience where were you born so I was actually born in Burlingame California which is just outside of San Francisco but I moved there from there when I was two to Connecticut so I don't really remember it that well, but I think San Francisco is beautiful and I would definitely live there in the future. I actually just graduated from the University of Southern California in May, hopefully pending on my graduation ceremony, but I did graduate. So what are the, what do you like best about USC? Would you recommend going there? I would definitely recommend going there. I feel like it's a great, fun school in an amazing city. I definitely wanted to be in one of the coasts when I was applying to colleges and was honestly mostly looking between NYU and USC and I ended up deciding that I wanted to have the campus experience instead of being in like a major metropolitan city. It also has a beautiful campus and such a diverse population. I feel like anyone could find their group of people there. What did you major in? So I majored in business administration and then I minored in public relations. Tips for life in New York City might be moving there next year, but it's overwhelming. So I haven't lived in New York City for that long, but I come here almost every year and I have lived here for two summers doing when I did internships and I love it so much. I'm currently apartment hunting and I don't feel like I can provide like solid advice for living in New York yet because I am in no ways a New Yorker, I do not claim to be. Once I figure out tips, I will let you know, but I don't know yet. Best part about college life. I feel like college is really what you make out of it. I genuinely think the best part about it was the connections that I made on campus. I met so many cool and inspiring individuals while I was there. Also, I think if you have the chance to go abroad, definitely going abroad because that is like, when are you ever gonna be a young 20 year old in a being able to just hop around to different cities without being tied down to a job for like months on end. So if, if you're debating as to whether or not to go abroad, I know this is gonna be in a post COVID era, so I don't know when abroad is gonna happen again, but if you have the opportunity to, I would definitely recommend it. Favorite places to eat in Los Angeles? I would say Justa for brunch and sandwiches and like really good, just fresh food. Definitely go to In-N-Out just because you have to. Oh, go to Air One. That's like not a restaurant, but it's the best supermarket ever. And just get a hot plate. And it's so overpriced and expensive, but I love Air One so much and they can have all my money. Also, I love Matsuisa. It's kind of like a low-key Nobu situation. And Nobu, Nobu himself is there very frequently. Here's a photo of me and Nobu. And I just think like their black miso cod can literally be my death meal. It is so good. I don't, it's just like crack, like it's, it melts in your mouth, it's insane. Why did you decide to go to college in the US? So a lot of people from my high school either go to college in the UK or the US. Not many people stay in Hong Kong. So I was actually thinking about applying to schools in the UK, like my mom went to King's. So I've definitely always thought about the UK as an option, but I always kind of pictured myself going back to the US for college. Favorite makeup, skincare, YouTubers you watch, and favorite books of the year. So I think I'm gonna do a whole video on like makeup and skincare because I'm also super passionate about all that stuff. YouTubers I watch, uh, I'm a huge YouTuber fan. I love Claudia Saluski, I always have. Desi Perkins, I love. Uh, Margot Lee's videos, she does such a good job editing. Emma Chamberlain, obviously, she's hilarious. Paige Sikoski does the most aesthetically pleasing vlogs. I literally aspire to be her. Ben Niley, I found him on TikTok, but he is my skincare god. If I, if you guys wanna like get to know 
the skincare products that I use. Literally everything I have bought recently is a Ben Niley recommendation because he's all into Korean skincare. So definitely check him out. Oh, Where I Live is a really good account. She's vegan and is all about living sustainably. Help to show you how to make sustainable living easy. So definitely check her out. I mean, Jen M, she's an OG. She's so cute. I don't know. I have a huge list of people I'm subscribed to, but those are my my favorites. Favorite books this year, Normal People was really good. I'm reading Untamed right now, which was the book that apparently Adele read and then said it like changed her whole life. So I've been reading that because <laughs> Adele read it, obviously. I actually have this app that I can recommend to you guys. It's called Stacks. It lets you keep a list of what you want to read, what you're currently reading, and then what you have read. This is just like a good way to keep track because I feel like I'm always forgetting what I read. Oh, maybe you should talk to someone. That was a book that I read and it's about like a therapist's behind the scenes on, scenes on what being a therapist is like. Um, oh, An Anonymous Girl was a super good kind of thriller. Tell Me Lies is just the easiest page turner ever and you just get so sucked into it. But yeah, I have a whole list of books that I want to read and if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments because I'm always looking for new books. I love reading. But those are all the videos I'm going to answer right now, but if you guys ha ever have any more, please let me know. So yeah, I hope that was informative, but I'm going to go make some food now because I'm so hungry. So let's go eat.